Welcome. In this video, we want to see how we can apply differentiation to solve the equation that we are given here. And the question is, the altitude of a rocket in meters in two flights is given by as a function of t equal to t to the power 3 plus 96, uh, t squared plus 195 t plus 5, where t is in seconds and t is greater or equal to 0. The first one is find the expression for v, the, rocks, uh, the rocket's velocity at any time t. So, we are given the displacement of the, the rocket. We are, uh, we, are, we are given the displacement of the rocket and it is in meters. So, uh, displacement, which is a function of uh, t, is equal to t to the power 3 plus 96t plus Okay, now we want to find v. We know that uh, velocity is uh, the rate of change of displacement. So we know that velocity, velocity is equal to change in displacement with respect to time. Now that change is ds over dt, meaning we have to differentiate the equation for displacement with respect to time. That will enable us to predict, uh, that function that we are going to find will enable us to predict the velocity at any time t. So we differentiate what you are given. Uh, when you differentiate what you are given, if it is a displacement, you go to velocity. If it is velocity that you are given, when you differentiate, you go to acceleration. Okay, so this particular equation that we are going to find will, will enable us to find instantaneous velocity or it will enable us to find velocity at any point uh, t. Okay, any point of time t. So now we need to differentiate this one with respect to time. That will be the function for velocity. In other words, you say velocity is the change in displacement with time or the rate of change of displacement with time. So when you differentiate displacement, you go to velocity. When you differentiate velocity, you go to acceleration. Again, if you do the opposite, when you integrate, if I integrate this one, I'll go to that one, I'll go to displacement. If I integrate uh, acceleration, I'll go to velocity. I integrate, I'll go to that. But if I'm differentiating, I differentiate this one, I'll come to velocity. I differentiate velocity, I'll come to acceleration. So what I need to do for me to find velocity, I need to differentiate displacement with respect to time because by definition velocity is change in displacement with respect to time. So this will be equal to, if I try to differentiate this, I will use what we call some root because we are adding these functions. I know that the derivative of a constant is zero so I won't differentiate that one because it's a zero. In other words, I will, I will not consider it. So here we get 3t squared plus, here we are going to get 192 at t plus 195. Remember, when we are differentiating, we multiply the power and the coefficient, then reduce the power by 1. Okay, so when we multiply this by the coefficient, we get 3, because here it's 1, so we get 3 reduce the power by 1. So this would be the expression for velocity. This will enable you to predict velocity of that particular rocket in flight at any particular time t. But remember this is in meters and t is in seconds. But we are given that t should be 0 or anything greater than 0 because we know that time is never negative. It's always a positive quantity. Now, in B, we have to predict velocity at different time intervals, okay? So now we have to find velocity at uh, time equal to 0, time equal to 30, then interpret the results. So I discussed with you how to multiply numbers, but in the best interest of time, I'm going to use a calculator. So now, we have to find 
velocity at t equal to 0. So, v of 0 means whenever there is t in the expression for v, we have to put 0. So, this will be 3 multiplied by 0 squared plus 1, 9, 2, 0 plus 1, 9, 5. So, if I put 0 there, this will give me 195 meters per second. So, at t equal to 0, we have the velocity of the rocket equal to that one. But remember not to forget the units. Here, the units are meters per second because displacement is measured in meters here and time is measured in seconds. So, now we have also to compute uh, velocity at uh, t equal to 30 and these intervals. So I'll do just that. Let me do just that. So we know the formula for velocity v according to a v is equal to 3t squared plus 192t plus 195. So we found we found that v at 0 is equal to 195 meters per second. So we find now v at 30 seconds. This will be equal to 3 30 squared plus 192 30 plus 195. So I will just do that with the calculator because of uh, the interest of time. But I discussed in the videos down how to multiply such. So I hope you can consult those videos. Multiply by 30 plus 195. So we are going to get 8.655 meters per second. So this will be the velocity at 30 seconds. So we go to velocity at 50 seconds. Again, you do the same, you repress whenever there is T, you repress 50. Remember this enables you to predict velocity at any moment in time or at any time T. So this will be 3. 50 squared plus 192 50 and plus 195. So if I try to multiply this, I'll have 50 squared plus 192 divided by 50 plus 192. Okay, we get this. 172 meters per second. So we go to V uh, 5. This will be again you repress whenever there is T, you repress 65. So let me just do that. Plus 192 65 plus one nine five. So the velocity at, of the rocket at uh, sixty five seconds will be three multiplied by sixty five squared plus one nine two multiplied by sixty five plus one nine five. And what we are getting is this two five three five zero meters per second. Don't forget the units. You have to write the units. So we go to V at 70 seconds. So we have 3, 70, squared plus 192, 70, plus 195. So this would be 3 multiplied by 70 squared plus 192, multiplied by 70 plus one nine five. So
So this will be this number here. Again, don't forget the units. Okay, once we are done with that, we have to make the conclusion or interpret our results. Okay, so at t equal to zero, the rocket was moving at 19 meters per second. Then at t equal to 30, we have this, then that and that. But you can see that when time increases, when time increases, the velocity is also increasing. Now, if this rocket is increasing its velocity with time, then we can say the rocket was accelerating with time. Okay, so to interpret your results, when you look at this, you can see that uh, as the time increases, the velocity was also increasing. In other words, the rocket was accelerating. So the interpretation is that the rocket was accelerating. So we can say rocket was accelerating because as time increases the velocity was also increasing increasing okay so we can say therefore the rocket was accelerating so for this and more videos subscribe to this uh, youtube channel and on how to multiply numbers without a calculators i did a video below so you can check it out thank you for watching